Hello and welcome to the vlog. I feel like I've never introduced myself, so hi, I'm Emily, or you might know me as Guava Doodle. For this vlog, we go to DreamHack in Atlanta, and I do break down about how the weekend went. I did want my vlogs going forward to be more insightful and like educational for those who are getting into Artist Alley. I apologize in advance for like all the loud noises because like it was just like a lot of people and there were like tournaments going on so I did have to like do a lot of jump cuts to like get rid of the noises as well. Um, and I also want to apologize if I sound like really negative. I think I was just really tired and I was a little bit burnt out but yeah. The overall experience was awesome. It was cool because we got to see our friend who flew out from California and we got to hang out with them. Uh, my boyfriend and I, AJ, we went to the Coca-Cola Museum and just being at DreamHack itself, we're gamers, so that was pretty cool. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to ask me like questions you want to know about like anything like Artist Alley or being like a small business owner. Um, I'll be free to like read your comments and try to help. And yeah, hope you enjoy the vlog. We got our badges. We made it to our table. Um, there's a big ass pole, pillar thing by my table. We're done setting up. Um, we're gonna race the print stand tomorrow and I just have to clean everything up. Oh. I'm joking, all right guys, so this artifact is right there. Now guys, that right there is called- Ah, so much. <laughs> Oh, he's dripped. He's dripped up. Oh, so cute. So, I'm done setting up and this is the full setup. I'm doing the same 8-foot display I did as last time, except instead of a storefront, I have a print stand. Um, so here we have the flip phone keychains and then the discount basket and some stickers and then I have two different business cards because people like to collect them So I have Gojo and Reagan and then if they don't want a business card Then obviously they can just scan the QR code and then I have my keychains These are just the normal versions and then we have the pins And then I have these new leak pins for this event and then we also have the air fresheners the Genshin charms the tote bag and of course the long cat gojo so yeah this is the whole display it's the same as anime frontier basically except i have a print stand this time instead of the storefront i'm also next to this giant artist alley sign which probably helped because i think they felt bad that i was next to this giant pole too so to like advertise the artist alleys right here they put this here and then they have some like cool like mood lighting we both got energy drinks to help us throughout the weekend. And they were free! <laughs> DreamHack is a three-day gaming convention and the artist style here is pretty small. Um, but unfortunately, I don't know if I fit the niche because I don't have that much gaming stuff. But hopefully, I do well. So this is the back of the badge. And this is all the hours, which is really convenient. The hours are pretty long every day, so we can't really do any more sightseeing. It looks like it's filling up a bit more. Most people are over there playing games right now, but hopefully it'll be good later on. I did walk around earlier and I did see a lot of like just general anime, comic, and fighting games, and crochet goods. So there is a good balance in the art style. Hi hey, Joey! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> It's almost an hour in. We haven't even made any sales really, so we're playing games right now. Um, this con is pretty slow today. I didn't make any sales the first two hours, but it is the first day. I've heard at 
this event that the first day is typically slow. The last day seems to be the best because that's when all the finals for the tournaments happen. I mentioned earlier that I don't have much gaming stuff, so I'm just gonna show y'all what I do have. I have these two Amori keychains. I have these five uh, Valorant stickers. And then I also have the Valorant stickers as keychains. So I have the five designs along with Akali. The Genshin McDonald's keychains as well. And then my newly acquired Leap Prince. The table is originally 250 for everyone, but if you choose to donate an item for the giveaway, then your table is only 150. I ended up donating my new League of Legends pins because the event has Tyler One as one of their guests, so I figured it would be aligned with the event itself. So I got $100 off my table, and that's pretty awesome. Stop heckling me! <laughs> <laughs>
audience here is mostly gaming people. It seems like most of my shonen items are moving. Only stuff like Jujutsu Kaisen and like you saw my cat dojo and then like my mom's cycle stuff is doing pretty good too. The leak pins are doing pretty well. They're almost gone I think and they are the dream pack exclusive so I think people are more like inclined to buy because of that. The convention is also held in the same building as Momocon and I think Awa is moving here next year as well. So I'm just gonna try for one of those instead and hopefully I can come back to Atlanta. I changed my display up because the cat gojos used to be right here but we sold out of them so I just moved everything over one so it's like three panels on this side and then three panels on this side so it's more evenly spaced out. Usually when I have some downtime at cons, I try to work on stuff, so right now I'm working on a FNAF sticker sheet. Like I said, I don't know if I'll re be returning to this one, but I think if you're local or you're really into like gaming stuff or you make gaming merch, then you should definitely try this one out. But I don't think it's really for me and I'm just gonna probably try out for the one that's more local to me next time. So it's a real simple, simple thing that we do for that,
one of them is almost gone. You can't end on a loss. It's like a gaming thing, people say. Mostly, mostly in like leagues, I feel like. I, so I had three variants, so I had just one more game. Can't end at a loss and dodge and bad champ. And this one was the most most popular one. And I just also want to mention how great the con staff have been here. They really just took care of everyone. This is one of the few cons I've been to where the artists are a priority. Like I said, doing the DreamHack exclusive is like really beneficial to people who are like just starting out or just want to try this con. So getting your table knocked down by a hundred dollars like means a lot to some people. And I think one of the great things about the DreamHack exclusive is like it doesn't have to be like something super fancy like I did a pin just because I wanted to but some people just have like stickers, prints, acrylic pins like it can be something really easy and that's what's great about it. It's about 5.45ish and the event is almost over. To be honest the show was not that profitable for me. I was told that Sunday would be the busiest day because the finals happened for all the tournaments but I think looking back, um, that probably hurts the artist alley more just because if people are watching the tournaments, they're not really walking around the artist alley. And today was the worst in terms of revenue for me and I sometimes do the same or even better at two-day events. And usually I have a goal of at least five times my expenses because this is my full-time job and I do focus on in-person events now. But either way, I had like such a great time in Atlanta and at such a big event. There was a lot of things to do overall and it was a really cool experience. Like I said, I won't be returning to this specific location, but I will definitely be trying the one in Dallas, which is local to me. I hope I didn't sound too negative throughout this vlog, but I did want to be transparent with y'all. I'll list my expenses and my profit on the screen. And just so y'all know that I do fly out my boyfriend, so I do cover all his expenses as well. voiceover emily here and just a disclaimer from my personal experience um revenue is typically a little higher for a three-day con i do realize this may be because of my items not fitting the audience and also the fact that it was the end of the year so the holidays are a big factor as well by all means this doesn't mean i'm not grateful for this money or my job but i felt like this was worth noting that this con was on the low end for me thank you guys so much for watching that's the end of the vlog again i do want to apologize if i did sound a bit negative throughout the whole thing again looking back the experience was not that bad and i had a great time um and if i can i'll try to do dreamhack dallas so I guess I'll see y'all in 2024. Um, happy holidays. I hope y'all have a great new year as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.